You guys, I'm actually really excited to talk about this because this has been something that has been kind of discussed quite a bit here on YouTube. And we see a lot of videos from different channels talking about, I'm not going to go ultra light because it's not comfortable, or I'm not going to go ultra light because I don't want to leave these certain things behind. And I really want to talk about whether or not is ultralight backpacking comfortable or is it uncomfortable? And really the answer is it is comfortable. And let's discuss why I feel like that is the case. Really ultralight backpacking first starts with a mindset that I am trying to accomplish something in my backpacking style and my backpacking system that allows me to backpack differently than if I'm carrying 40, 50, even 60 pounds on my back. And a lot of it has to do with the purpose of you being in the backcountry. Going ultralight or being an ultralight backpacker doesn't make you an arrogant jerk. It doesn't make you this person that is not relatable or you are better than other people. It simply is the fact that you have reached a point where I want to do something different and with the advancements in products and fabrics and just outdoor gear items in general, it's easy to accomplish those lower weights in your backpacking system than it ever has been before and to do it for a fairly low price. Yes, it is going to be a little bit more expensive to acquire those lighter weight items that are using fancy Dyneema fabrics or fancy nylons and all those things that encompass saving weight ultimately in a backpacking system, but it doesn't have to cost you a lot of money. And I am on purpose sitting in front of this setup right here because this is a true, what I would call ultralight type of camp setup where I've got a tarp and a bivy and it is a comfortable sleeping experience. It is not something that equates to, well, I am reducing my comfort level because I'm not in the perfect campsite or I'm not in the perfect type of level terrain that allows for the best, most comfortable uh, type of sleeping. But this type of setup right here where I'm on a little bit of a downhill slope, I've got the protection from the weather that I would need and I've got bug protection. That's really all I need is just the protection from the elements. I don't always have to have this big grandiose uh, type of shelter that provides a home away from home. However, for a lot of people that is what is needed for them to have an enjoyable experience in the backcountry. And just because that's how you are comfortable in the backcountry doesn't mean that somebody in this type of setup is not comfortable and the only reason they are sleeping this way or using this type of gear is because they want to save weight and because of that they're uncomfortable. All I'm trying to get across is that ultralight backpacking is comfortable and it first starts with a mindset like I said before that you need to be able to say okay I know that I can sleep comfortable if I take just a quarter inch foam pad and I find a really good place to camp that is on some like needle beds of like pine needles or uh, fallen leaves and I'm not looking for this beautiful manicured type of campsite that you see in a lot of trails and oftentimes especially when I'm like out doing off-trail backpacking I find better campsites because I'm not looking for all these places that people have been to before and a lot of times similar to like what I've got here I've got a really soft ground that I can sleep on that makes me really comfortable and I can find a tree to lean up against I to eat my breakfast and my my dinner I don't have to be using these items that create quote-unquote luxury comfort to be comfortable in the backcountry and just because you do it differently doesn't mean that all of a sudden your comfort is more important than the comfort that somebody might uh, experience because of how they choose a campsite or wherever they end up being. Now that does lead into the discussion that often we get so focused on this ultralight mindset that we start to eliminate things that uh, could present hazards and risks in the backcountry that 
are so far beyond what the point of going ultralight is that it is in terms of, as Andrew Skirka has said, that you're now stupid light. You have removed so many things to the point that you have created a stupid backpacking system that you're just getting lucky if you don't get hurt, if you don't find yourself in a hazardous situation. And so I can be ultralight, have all of the comforts and things that I need, and still be saving a ton of weight, not carry all of that extra weight on my back. And I think we really need to get away from saying that because you're an ultralight backpacker, you're not comfortable. It's just not true. So thanks for watching, guys. (laughs) 